Hello everyone, it's Sahashni here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good, I hope you're well and that life is bliss. So in today's video, we are doing a winter fashion trends 2023. I am stepping into this topic, very much new, very much a beginner. I've always been someone who's interested in fashion, in style, definitely how my own wardrobe has progressed but also what's kind of in what's kind of trendy what's been shown on the runways and things like that but i've never done an actual seasonal trends type of video so this is the first time i am doing one and i also feel as though with trends and what i've seen in um fashion weeks whether they are comfortable and applicable for the season that they are tailoring for is something else so i really wanted to do like a trends sort of video where yeah like these are things that our designers are putting on for models but actually practically what is comfortable and what would an everyday girl kind of wear an everyday person wear um according to that season so i live specifically in london united kingdom england and it isn't one of the most coldest places on earth in comparison to other countries when it comes to winter but at the same time it very much is winter cold so not only do i need to kind of focus i guess on my style because i very much am a conscious person when it comes to clothing and what i wear but also practically will these items and will these trends and the way that i style my outfits will they generally keep me warm and those two things together style and comfort for me is is my definition of me being a fashionable person is not only is it very stylish to look at and i feel confident but also it's comfortable and it's practical to whatever season i'm wearing that outfit in so that is exactly why i wanted to actually do this video and also winter is my favorite clothing season i absolutely love winter wear so it only made sense for me to kind of start this seasonal trend videos whilst doing it in my favorite season but with that said fall is is really coming close fall really is coming close autonomous wear but yes without that long-winded intro let's move on <laughs> As someone who has never done a trendy video, who is very much interested in fashion style, has never been to any fashion week, how can I do this video? What can I bring to the table? Well, I want us to go through this together. I wanted to do my research. So yeah, that was looking at articles, that was going on Pinterest, that was going on Instagram, seeing what star bloggers are wearing, what the ins are, what celebrities have been wearing in fashion week, what the models are wearing, what fashion designers were producing, what are the typical runway looks, and kind of collate all of them together and see what is consistent, what's like a constant theme for this year's season's winter. So after I did that, I feel as though I've kind of picked out trends that not only are trending, but also trends that I genuinely feel like I would wear as a typical everyday person going into work or just having a social life, not an influencer, not someone who has a platform, but generally like an everyday girl what can i see in store what would i pick out what can i already use in my wardrobe so yeah i hope you guys keep watching and let's just get started because i feel as though that was probably an extended intro maybe it was not needed i don't know the first trend that i feel as though i've spotted and it's nothing new is definitely a style that has been transferred in recent times and pretty much everyone is aware of it so if you haven't and this is the first time you're being aware of it through my video then that's great that's nice is old money foundation and i feel as though subconsciously i have kind of evolved my style to be that way without knowing it was old money or quiet luxury so the look pretty much is very clean very minimal in in some sort of aspects structured to a certain extent tailored made and also quiet luxury less is more minimal i'm just saying phrases that i feel as though is old money subtle colors nothing too bright 
pretty much sticking to neutral tones and also color blocking so black and white that's also quite a common thing that i've also seen this is giving luxury this is giving you're trying but you're not trying this is giving that kind of elitist appearance which is um debatable but it's giving old money foundation and the reason why I've put this as my first identifiable trend for winter 2023 to 2024 is because not only is it nothing new, it's definitely being transferred from recent times to now having that as a good foundation to build on your winter outfits but also I feel as though an old money foundation style is something because it's blown up quite recently but also it's quite a standalone style on its own it really gives me ralph lauren that sort of vibe burberry even um it's something that's not going to disappear and i feel as though as time goes by as runways happen in the future old there's going to be some sort of old money aspect to a lot of the looks that we will see in the future it is what i feel as i'm predicting and what i've already seen in this season's runway i mean the the key thing here with with old money is it really is less is more neutral tones or color blocks with the classic colors of black white gray navy blue um but at the same time it, you're not trying as much and i feel as though in a way as much as it's opposite to the style of being old money and luxurious it is quite basic all you really need is a very nice good material silk blouse for example classic colors would be like a cream one a beige one and putting that with nice structured smart pants and it can either be baggy it can either be structured and more fitted to you with a really good quality belt and boom that's a classic basic foundational old money outfit moving forward with winter it is definitely something that i feel as pieces that i already have in my wardrobe that i can put and then layer up and build on to make a really good warm winter outfit but also anyone generally can have this style you just have to consciously select pieces but even then it's it's already pieces you have in your wardrobe generally i feel so it's not it's not a difficult look to to achieve in my opinion but at the same time you don't want to then buy like screaming brands because it's meant to be old money it's it's not really about the whole how much you're spending on the look it's more so the look itself like how you are styling it to create that old money effect that quiet luxury effect so i really love this trend because firstly i feel as though my style personally has been evolving that way secondly it's not really the focus really isn't about having branded items it's it's i think it's a good trend to kind of test yourself and challenge yourself to see what you can use already to style it in a way that can create that old money aesthetic so you don't need to necessarily break your bank to achieve this trend or achieve this look and that's probably one of the reasons why why i love it so much is it is so achievable so that is the first one that i feel as though is going to be quite popular in winter but also in many winters to come and to be honest very transferable across all seasons so that leads to the second trend that i feel as though it's going to be quite popular and i've seen in the runway it's to a certain extent it is quite similar to old money in my opinion you can transfer even old money foundation style to this is business talk so business talk i absolutely love it's it's probably one of my favorite trends that when i was researching i was like oh my god this is this is actually in right now and yes we can do this but also whether in or not i don't care i still would follow it um is structure it's blazers it's corporate colors it's fitted tailor-made suits it's giving power it's giving authority it's it's giving confidence and we're here to talk business and no one can mess you about sort of thing and i absolutely love this business talk i'm gonna be putting a few pictures again over here just as point of reference and you can kind of see already a little bit when it comes to similarities between old money and business talk but i wanted to put it in its own individual category because it deserves its own category in its own right i feel as though this is probably more of a go-to with people who do have more 
corporate jobs, office jobs are going in Monday to Friday and you want to be confident, you want to look presentable, you want to look like you can boss those meetings, see your clients, but at the same time, you want to have style. Personally, when I know I look good, I'm a lot more confident and that is probably why I spend a lot more money in clothing, in clothing than in makeup because I am very style conscious with what I wear, the pieces that I pick out. So that habit transfers to me in a working environment. So when I know that my work outfit looks good and I'm confident or I have something that's really important that I need to deal with and I just need that extra boost of self-esteem knowing that I look good subconsciously, it just transfers in my intellect and I end up performing better. And I've seen that so many times. Whereas if I feel like, oh, I'm questioning my outfit today or I'm just not feeling great and I didn't try as much and didn't put as much effort into my appearance, I feel as though I don't have as much of a productive day. So it could be subconscious or not, but business talk, I am here. And I've labeled it as heritage checks or it could be tartan as well. This I surprisingly really was drawn to. Again, in terms of my own style, it's quite minimal, neutral toned, not really bright colours or patterns, but checks is, is kind of something I've been getting into or I've been drawn to a lot more recently and I feel as I've been brave to use, whether that's like a checked scarf, um, a checked skirt, even the blazer the outerwear blazer having like a checked sort of tartan pattern. Something about that as well, I feel as though crosses over, overlaps with old money in a way too, um, in terms of the color scheme and the pattern it's itself, like the checked pattern or even tartan. I love this look. I have also seen recently people having checked outerwear. So having your classic belted jacket, which seems to be quite a staple gives a lot of um, sophisticated vibe in terms of outerwear, but also having that as a full on just checked all over. Uh, there's one picture that I really absolutely adore. I'm putting her specifically to shout out this person. Um, and unfortunately I don't know who it is, but I love her outerwear, the whole checked. It's it's not too bright even, it, it just works. It's very colorful, but also it's very minimal at the same time for me. I don't know why, but I, it's something I really was drawn to it. And now, chunky scarves I've put in here because I haven't really seen it actually popular much in the runway, but it's such an iconic accessory to have during the winter. It's introduced with fall, but winter really is where chunky scarves come to life. It's, it's an element and it generally keeps you practically so warm. So when it came to trends, I was like, how can I not include chunky scarves? I think it's going to always be a consistent item, not necessarily because of the fashion aspect, but I think because it's such a necessity when it comes to winter, I don't think one person would go out without a good quality chunky scarf that they can wrap around themselves with their neck or just keep it keep their outerwear open and then have like a long chunky scarf to put the outfit more together or you can have your chunky scarf wrap it around with a belt and your top half is just a lot more presentable a lot more structured so i think chunky scarves are top notch when it comes to winter accessory coincidentally enough i don't know why the pictures that i chose were all cream white scarves but obviously any color is absolutely fine and to be honest you can have a really nice old money minimal look and then have like a bright colored chunky scarf a checked chunky scarf and that will just bring your outfit all together when it comes to like a nice winter day out and you want to stay warm i got this specific phrase from what we wear so credit over there but I also kind of translated it to dark feminine energy. It's called femme fatale, which is a new phrase that I've learned when I was researching. This is going towards sort of gothic style, but sophisticated gothic, very feminine gothic, a little, a little bit of luxurious kind of gothic. There was a really, really beautiful picture of Naomi Campbell, um, in this gorgeous dress and for me that when I saw that then I completely understood what femme fatale look was and for me that resonated with dark feminine uh, energy sort of Pinterest photos that I was seeing so I just put them both together so this really is all black 
you can have leather in there you can have a bit of um burgundy a little bit of kind of plum purple so this really really is gothic but on an elegant level and i absolutely love that i think with dark feminine energy old money foundation business style you can see all of these trends they very much can be overlapped together it is over the knee boots so knee high boots and again i feel as though it's it's quite a staple when it comes to winter because not only does it keep you warm instead of wearing typical trainers but also it's it's such a good way to elevate your outfit elevate your style and i've seen a lot of it being in leather so a simple black high knee boot um there are other alternatives as well depending on your outfit but again you can see from these pictures the way that girls have styled them i think it's it's honestly it's beautiful you've got one here that's gone for more of a business style i feel with with the blazer dress and then putting the boots on top you've got another one with the whole leather skirt so that's giving more of the femme fatale look you've also got a little bit of the old money foundation here with the v-neck jumper and then the nice collar fitted shirt inside and then she's got it seems like white um kind of I don't know the top the top part's kind of showing a little bit of the cowboy style actually but again that works really beautifully well so again really love this one and there's another one where she's got a really nice chunky scarf and she's paired it with boots so trend that i have seen is exaggerated earrings is what i'm calling it so as someone who kind of i don't know if you guys have seen so these these aren't exaggerated earrings to be fair but i have not had passion or enthusiasm for jewellery for a very long time it is definitely a recent thing i would say probably this year um no 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 i think yeah this year probably ever since i got engaged and i've been wearing my ring is is the trigger point of when i became more invested in jewellery and wanted to accessorize more so exaggerated earrings is something that i've seen a lot it's it's a staple with Hailey bieber sophie ritchie it's definitely something that can easily elevate your look by just putting really nice gold chunky earrings i've also seen really nice gold bottega earrings that a lot of um other stores and brands have kind of somewhat mimicked as well with earrings it definitely is what suits you what kind of shapes you like what sort of design but i think with exaggerated earrings the trend is having something so simple and then putting on accessory creates such an amazing put together look and it just it just spices a look look up completely and i only really re really discovered that this year um ever since i started accessorizing how much of a difference it can make so yeah i think this is quite an obvious trend and people were probably doing this around summertime because i even saw this during summer like on vacations people would be wearing exaggerated hoops chunky earrings so definitely has seeped along through fall and to winter as well so the last trend that i specifically wanted to give a spotlight to and also i feel as though i could warm up to having in my wardrobe is a seasonal color red i am not really a fan of red if i'm completely honest with you i just I, I no let me let me rephrase that i'm just not really a fan of um color in general and if i do choose color it's kind of more on the darker side more than the earthy tone the neutral tone not really bright but what i realized with the seasonal color red in the runway it was seen as more bright red kind of blood red uh but when it came to influences and pinterest I've seen more of cherry reds, burgundy reds, so more than the darker shade of the colour red. So I say seasonal colour, it being red, because that's what was popular on the runway. But I feel as though that can be transferred to burgundies, plum red, if plum, if plum is a red or purple, I'm not sure. But those sort of darker shades of reds, which I feel as though I can definitely get into in comparison to a bright red turtleneck and the way that i've seen people wear this trend is honestly you really can make it your own it can be a red 
leather jacket. It can be a whole red pantsuit. It can literally be over the knee, red boots, a chunky red scarf. Everything can be quite minimal and neutral. And then you can have a red bag. And I think this pop of color is great because I say seasonal color because of Christmas and it's winter time and it's always amazing to incorporate color and this is quite a good entry level for people like me who are kind of in the old money um slash smart casual wear but want to re be really be a bit brave when it comes to color i feel as though the seasonal color is great red again wouldn't be my preference i would probably start out with burgundies cherry reds you know that sort of darker shade which kind of overlaps with dark feminine energy as well i do want to kind of put a disclaimer that personally for me i don't i don't dress to trend i don't i'm not really aware of trends and that's kind of one reason why i wanted to do this video just to research and see okay what is actually out there but i also want to encourage the whole creating your own style having your own kind of thought process when it comes to putting outfits together instead of mimicking them or kind of buying only trendy items that for me is not kind of what i'm advocating i mean what i'm trying to advocate here is obviously spotting the trends because it's super fun and it's really interesting to see what designers have produced and seeing what inspiration people have gained from that and having these different styles but also kind of emphasizing that fashion really is making your own there's there's so many varieties out there and there's no right or wrong way to wear something or put an outfit together it generally is your own comfortability your confidence what kind of style palette you're you're leaning towards and just seeing how much you flourish and how much you evolve in your own wardrobe and that's a journey that i've been on that i've really enjoyed genuinely seeing my style change and evolve and what i'm kind of leaning towards now in comparison to before but i'm hoping that my style continually grows and changes whether that's trending or not is not really important to me it's more so what i can gain from those trends what sort of inspiration can i take from from them so that when i put outfits together you know i can see how the looks will work together and also just trying something new sometimes i don't really try anything new when it comes to my style so when i look at these trends i'm like oh yeah actually this is really nice there that means they're going to have a lot more popular items in the store so then i have a lot more selection to choose from to then pick out something that specifically is more me within that trend within that style so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you in the next one bye yeah.